My name is Julian Mosley. I work in the Underwater Research Laboratory. We use our sonar at Pavilion Lake uh, for mapping coral structures that are growing in fresh water. The Canadian Space Agency is involved and NASA is involved. They're interested because there might be a connection, for instance, with life on Mars. If you look at science fiction, they always talk about these micro-robots going into your bloodstream, curing cancer, but no one has actually developed them to a state where you can actually move this little tiny robot. For the first time this year, we were actually able to do that. I think what makes this one of the most premier engineering programs in the country is the fact that students can study here uh, and it's a fun, exciting environment and they're working with the award-winning faculty. They're able to tailor their degree to become the engineer that they want to be. When you first get here, you feel pretty overwhelmed and lost, but it's you realize really quickly that everybody's feeling the same way. It's a really fun program, but it does require a lot of studying time and it does require a lot of effort, but as years go by, you start to develop a lot of friends and it's got a great community aspect to it. So that's, that's the back of the eye, it's called retina. So that thick part is the choroid. I love the engineering science program here. It's very challenging. Everyone is willing to share the knowledge. Everyone's willing to work together to solve a problem. You just want, don't want to touch the reset button, right? Yeah. <laughs> the students you saw there, they are the primary people who do the hands-on research with the robot. You basically have an access card the second you become an engineer, and you can come in any time you want, at in night, during the day, weekends, whatever, which is perfect because if you're working or if the lab's busy, you can just walk in whenever you feel like it. You can come up and work at 3 a.m. if you want to, which we tend to do. <laughs> Class sizes here are really um, in a good way, small. I'm very aware for every student what mark they get. I have a good running track as to how everybody's doing and who might need a little bit more help or maybe I can partner them with someone who's got an idea of what's going on. All of the profs that I have right now currently for them, they're all open door policy. You can come knock on their door if they're busy. You come back later, but they're always available to help you. I personally like the fact that when new students come into the program, they have someone to interact with. The mentorship program basically teams up an incoming first year engineering student with an upper year engineering student and it becomes easier for them, not only socially but also academically. Our co-op program offers students the opportunity to uh, work locally but also abroad uh, internationally so they could work at Daimler Chrysler in Germany, Fuji Electric in Japan. I think a co-op student here at Ballard is fantastic. Not only do we get some much needed help uh, with some of the daily tasks that we need done, uh, we also get to teach a new generation of students. I forgot to mention, Scott likes to push buttons. Yeah. <laughs> especially, yeah. especially if you tell him not to. Yeah. This experience has been phenomenal. Having had an exposure to a product uh, development aspect of engineering will probably put me ahead of the pack in terms of future employment. As being a previous co-op student myself, often co-op students do find full-time employment with Ballard. It's great for, for both parties. The student gets a full-time job and we get a fully trained employee. Behind me here we've got the traditional SFU engineers, Brimbo, upper years versus lower years game. And as you can see, we've got an awesome crew out here and we're having awesome times. There are different ways of getting involved on campus. Um, people usually find things that are, they are passionate about and they enjoy doing. And I think I, I found soccer um, very amusing. <laughs> Most of the people in our team are from engineering science. And uh, yeah, we so far in the, we are in the finals. Well, Wing Chun is actually a close combat martial arts system. A couple of the grad students here are in Wing Chun. Well, I actually started about five years ago with a couple undergrads. What's uh, Midnight Madness all about? Midnight Madness. Um, Mid <laughs> Midnight <laughs> I'm not ma myself familiar with what exactly goes on into Midnight, uh, Midnight Madness. You'll end up going downtown to do like scavenger hunts, you'll end up going to restaurants, you'll end up sleeping over here watching movies. It's it's pretty intense. Well, the benefits of Midnight Madness is just to get you comfortable with people around you, and it's getting to know everybody who's in the same program, because you just you can't do this program alone. Another important point that I took into consideration in choosing SFU 
was that I get intellectual property rights to whatever I design. When you want to go out into industry and say, hey, I'm coming here, I want to bring this technology out in the marketplace, and you own it, you decide what you want to do with it. We are on the verge of something great at SFU. Our students will not only be hands-on designers, but also you know, from the business side, you have to know when your design is good enough, when the business says, Stop, so don't over-design or under-design. The business aspects of it is extremely important. Uh, to create, to, to innovate, that is a requirement of engineers. But also we like them to think about their social responsibility. We have courses that discuss those things. Engineers Without Borders is an organization which uh, works with human development in third world countries. I really feel responsible in giving back to people and if I have a skill I'd uh, like to use that to, to make the world a better place. Well it's a lot of fun, like, you know you're on a boat <laughs> for a whole week uh, roughing it and that's what I love because you get a lot of field work, you get a lot of outdoor work rather than just being trapped inside on a computer modeling stuff. My experience here has been great, I mean I can't, I'm so glad I went to this program and I've had such a great time, I've formed so many friends that I'm probably never going to lose, I've learned so much, <laughs> I've loved it.